Hello and welcome to R&B Models with Rick and Brandy. Today we are reviewing Polar Lights Ghostbusters Ecto-1. It's a snap kit. Um, it's copyrighted 2002. Uh, we picked this up at the show. I love Ghostbusters and I've been wanting to do uh, the Ecto-1 uh, for quite some time. Uh, we picked up the also the second one yeah. and um we picked we found it first and then luckily i was able to find this one um so uh, but we are building this on the channel and we're going to go through everything that came in the kit but yeah it it's a snap kit, poor lights. I don't know if I've ever done a poor lights kit before. Uh, it's got a picture of the model with the, probably the New York background there. On it with Slimer over there. Big Kmart up in the corner. Walmart. Walmart, yeah. This is not a Kmart part. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> on, hit, on this side, let's get another side view of the, of the car. Um, everything looks, there's another picture that's kind of like, almost like an artist branding of it, but, uh, same thing with the other side there. On the back, it's got, you know, a little bit of the info in there and got some, probably some of their other kits there. Here's the big body. It, uh, you know, it's got the holes for where the, you know, all the snap stuff snaps on there. It, it feels pretty solid overall. It's pretty straight. Nothing funky about it. Of course, here's the screw holes. Where'd they go? We'll try to make it, make it less, less snappy as possible. Brand detail on it should help. Yeah, unfortunately, I can only do so much, though, because... To make it look like the the movie, you yeah. know, there's only a certain way you got to do it. Here's the interior tub. It's got the seat molded in. It's got the looks like a cell phone there. And uh, here's so it's got some decent etching on it. Not bad. It's got the door handles and window cranks. It's got the rear seat. It's got the uh, you know. All kinds of uh, lettering there. It's got more stuff over here. The Egon when he run, I guess when he was back here. Hmm. Bankman or no, not Bankman. Who's the Dan Aykroyd guy? I can't remember all of them. <laughs> Oh, who cares? <laughs> but here's the frame. It's got the, you know, everything molded in there, all the exhaust, the end, bottom of the engine, the rear end, the wee springs, gas tank. Brand new, have to just paint all that stuff up. Here's the bottom of the radiator, front cross member, you know, the transmission. Slimer was always my favorite, so. Yeah. <laughs> Here's some of the chrome cat mailing at the door. Now uh, here's uh, some of the lights that goes on the outside of the car. Here's some more of the chrome. Here's part of the light bar. The rear bumper with the light shining. Front bumper with all the grill, everything all. And the headlights, everything all molded in their place. Headlight, some more, uh, more lights to go on top of the car, I think. And here's the, the wheels. That's, you know, yes, they have molded tires around, around it. Here's 
this part of the equipment for the all the you know jump boxes and stuff looks like here's the here's the ladder that goes inside some of the piping that goes on it more of the stuff that goes on the top I guess big antenna whip antenna there here's your dashboard it got some of engraving stuff on it a couple of tanks steering wheel here's your steering column looks part of the brake booster or something there here's the rear windows they're all tinted yeah, the only downfall thing. of that is it doesn't yeah. allow me to show off any detailing I do in the back. And and then the front half is clear. The windshield area and the side windows. And it's got the cover for the lights. I mean, you should have to paint, you have to paint them different. The blue and the blue lights on them, I guess. It's got four tire, white, white wall tires. Put it down there. Put this for them. Just get put them together over top of the wheels. It's got uh, two axles and four screws to hold the chassis on. Kind of got uh, sticker style decals on it. We've got Ghostbusters and Echo One. And then the red stripe. For the it. one time Rick uh, will not get any arguments for me uh, to put on the decals. Well, you, you could paint the red stripes on it, In this video, you I'm not painting the ghost. <laughs> no, that'd be kind of hard. And here's the, here's the instruction manual. Of course, it's a stamp kit. It is 50 parts, so it's not a really old part count so for a stamp kit. Pretty much one big page. I'll put it together. Yeah. Okay, I go slowly go over it. Got some paint codes over here. Down here it's a little paint code. And uh, this side just shows how to put all the accessories in. And then Pretty much that's it. This is the Spanish side. Well, I'm really looking forward to building this kit on the channel. Um, hopefully that'll be soon. Uh, until we build it, uh, we hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.